What's up, y'all? Preston Smiles here from some undisclosed location in Adelaide, Australia. Today's transmission. Seven ways to stop taking on people's energy. Now, first and foremost, let me say that some people are more attuned to other people's energies, to the, to the pain of the world, to the joy of the world. Some people are more attuned to energies that are around them. We call them impacts. But I say that every one of us has that within us. Some of us just choose to tune it out. Some of us have not trained the muscles to feel what it feels like when you enter a room and somebody is, uh, let's say, in a bad place. Bad, whatever that is, but they're in a place. Step number one on how to not take on someone else's energy is ask the question, is this mine or is this theirs? Now the answer to that could be both. Remember, there is no out there, out there. So case in point, when I was uh, in college, I, I went to this school, uh, LSU, and LSU was awesome. There's beautiful people there, and I'm so glad I went. But I would go to the football games, and as I was walking to the football games with my friends who happened to be Caucasian, the first time I did, I, I started hearing the word monkey. And I was like, are they talking to me? Monkey, nigger. And after a while, it started to get to me. And I started to match that anger. I started to, to fire back and say things back. And back to the question, is this mine or is this theirs? Well, yes, that was being projected at me. But also, it was a catalyst. It was a fire starter for what already existed within me. That anger was already there. Them calling me a nigger or whatever they wanted to call me was the match, was the lighter fluid to the thing going woof. Number one, ask the question, is this mine or is this theirs? And check in. Way number two is speak your truth. Now that doesn't mean go out and spew your words at people, but your feelings matter. You matter. So if you're in a situation where somebody is bulldozing the conversation or bullying you in any way, you get to set standards and boundaries so that they know how to operate with you. You get to speak your truth. Your feelings matter. Now you don't get to be reckless and blame them with your feelings. You get to take responsibility for what you're experiencing, but you should speak your truth or you get to speak your truth. Way number three is let go of the need to be validated in your life. Start working on that. I meet so many people who are walking around apologizing all the time, needing someone else to let them know that their life is okay, that what they said was okay. When you dig deep and find ways to stop needing to be validated in your life, then you'll stop taking on other people's energy. Number four, walk away. When you find yourself in a scenario that you don't necessarily want to be in, that doesn't feel good for you, you get to walk away. If you set the boundary and they keep overstepping the boundary and overstepping the boundary, if you don't walk away, they'll keep doing it for the rest of your life. So when someone's energy is bulldozing and coming in and you don't want to experience it and you've already told them that that doesn't work for you, or even if you haven't told them but it doesn't work for you, you get to walk away. You don't have to be there. Way number five is meditate. You get to slow down to the speed of wisdom. You see, when you go within, something happens. Something happens, there's a space that's cleared where you get to see with the eye before the eye. When you get to see with the insight, insight happens when you slow down and meditate. Way number six is create a physical practice where you metaphorically and literally shake it off. You get to hit the reset button, breathing in calm and exhaling negativity. And way number seven to not taking on other people's energy is smiling. You get to smile more. I don't know all the science behind this, but they say that if you just hold a smile, something happens internally in your physiology and that moves out into the world. So when you're in a situation where you're in a room with somebody or you're in an argument with somebody, things aren't working out the way you would like them to work out, you get to just take a moment, find some space, and just smile. Smile. Guys, I get it. There's a lot of 
energy flowing all through the universe. And not all of it is good and not all of it is bad because those things are mental constructs. They, it's just energy. But you do have a choice in what energies you would like to dance in and play in. You have a choice. So please review the seven ways to not let people's energy sit all over you and all that good stuff. I love you guys so much. If you are new to the tribe, new to the family, please, if you're on YouTube, click subscribe so you can see more of my videos and all that good stuff. And if you're on Facebook, click like, share, comment, all that juicy stuff. I am, we are, hashtag Love's Voice is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love. They say that the dog with the loudest bark are the most afraid. And right now there are people in your life, at your job, in your family, in your friend group, maybe your kids, there are people in your life right now that you can't stand, that trigger you, that bring something out of you. And I want you and I challenge you to stop looking at the behavior so much and push past that and see into their beautiful heart.